What's up, Trader's Edge? It's Mark Sebastian, your only option, and this is your look at the week ahead. Today, I'm going to tell you about all the important events you need to be paying attention to, what levels I'm watching in the major indexes. We're going to look at the VIX, and I'll give you a couple stocks to watch. So with that, let's dig in. Before I begin, I want to remind you that I've launched my new backbone strategy for trading desk using volatility. We're using SVIX and we're already in it. Uh, we're already profitable on our backbone strategy, but there's still time to get in. I predict that this stock will be up another 20% by uh, the middle of September. So there's still plenty of time to jump in. Um, this, sto this stock outperformed uh, even NVIDIA over uh, a chunk of last year. So there, this is one that I'm really excited about. This is something Andrew and myself and Hannah did a deep dive on. So make sure you join us. All right, so let's start with the economics. We've got a lot going on. DNC, now I don't think that's big economically, but it's worth paying attention to. Then we've got the Federal Reserve in the middle of the week, and then leading in the weekend, the Jackson Hole meetings. All of those kind of come together to be very Fed centric. You're going to want to be paying attention to bonds. So let's now look at the indexes. And boy, the speed with which we've gotten back to 5,600 is absolutely astounding. The S&P 500 is now only about what? Oh, call it 60 bucks from its all time high. Uh, absolutely incredible. The move that we've made. Uh, just uh and we're what uh so we have we could touch that it looks like the market wants to go there if you look at the triple q's they have a little more work to do get to the back to those levels um next stop for the triple q's uh we're talking about 488 i think that's where we're heading uh iwm kind of the same story more work it looked a pretty darn strong on uh on monday uh next stop for iwm i believe is 220. all these indexes now look like they're going up i would note that the implied volatility on a lot of these is still relatively high now let's look at the vix and the vix is uh coming in around 1465 again a new low from a kind of the 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 carry if you want the carry bomb uh, if you want to call it that, um, VIX futures term structure has gotten into full contango. However, we do have this big kink still here. As this rolls off, this is going to play right into trading desk's hand. Um, this is going to be very bad for names like VXX, UVXY, UVIX, very good for SVIXY. Because even if we do get a little bit of rally in volatility between now and and um, October expiration, even if the, the VIX goes to 16, this future is up at 18. It has to drop a full two points. That's going to happen, and that is going to put significant pressure on those names, and it's going to put um, a wind at the back of SVIX. So I think the VIX looks like it's going to 14. I think futures term structure now August expires, uh, August expires on Wednesday. The way uh, September is pricing, it's pricing like the VIX is going to 14. That's the way that thing is pricing. So keep an eye out there. Um, stocks to watch. Well, oil looked pretty. The oil names had a pretty interesting day on Monday. They popped and then pulled back. Uh, you saw the same thing out of like CVX. Pretty interesting day. Um, uh the commodities as a whole, we saw a lot of bullish paper on Friday and some continuing bullish paper on um, Monday. So that commodity space, I think, is looking interesting. Might be worth delving into there. Take a look at XLE. Uh, might be worth uh, a little bit of a bull allocation there. Uh, some other areas that I'm watching, obviously, the bond market. And with Jackson Hole, with everything going on, Take a look at TLT, take a look at IEF, 
And now here's one that you have to keep an eye on. That is J N K. And these are this, these are high yield credit. These are at an, it's at an all time high. And that's so credit spreads have really tightened up. Um, if those start to widen out, that's going to be a problem. The way you can tell that's starting to happen. If J and K starts to pull back. So if J and K is going up, the market is going to keep going up. Keep an eye on J and K and likewise H Y G. Uh, one, one fun thing to kind of keep, uh, do that I will, uh, play around with is just kind of comparing how H Y G and L Q D are mapping against each other. And you can see, and just kind of keep an eye on how those two are performing over kind of a one month period. And you can see we had that big dip. Uh, L Q D is high grade credit. Um, but uh, HYG has recovered. And so that is telling you the market feels pretty comfy with where it's at right now. Uh, a couple other stocks just to keep an eye on. Uh, Apple finally, if you want to call it down, finally had a down day dropping 16 cents. Uh, but essentially, uh, it's gone up 11 days in a row. Watch for Apple to pull back and that to be a really strong day for IWM. Uh, when we see Apple pulling back and NVIDIA and IWM rallying, that can be bullish. And again, I'm still looking for Amazon to catch a bid. And I'm looking for Microsoft to catch a bid. And um, I'm looking for Qualcomm. And finally, uh, Tesla. All those names look extremely bullish to me. Those are what I'm watching. All right, folks, uh, stay tuned to your email boxes. We're going to do an encore around my new backbone service within Trading Desk. Uh, you're going to you're going to make make sure you're reading those emails. If you're watching me on YouTube, like and subscribe and ask questions. I will answer. All right, everybody. I am Mark Sebastian. I am your only option. Have a great rest of your trading week.